Hey everybody, this is Al from El Rey Collection. Uh, welcome to the epic cardboard today of another La Machina superstar, Felix Lestal. Lestal was probably one of the best wingers in Argentine history. I think he scored about 100 goals in about 300 games with, um, with, with River Plate. He also knocked in about 10 in slightly less than 30 games playing for Argentina. Um, remember, Argentina in, the, in, in this time in the 1940s and early 50s weren't participating in the World Cups. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get to see them, this particular you know, team, or most of the players on this team, at, the, at that international level. Um, but they did win, he did win three Copa Americas um, uh, as well. So he, he's you know, an epic element of the great La Magina team. And uh, here today, I'll share some of his epic cardboard. Um, some of the 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 cards will be similar to ones that you may have seen in the uh, JM Moreno, or and or um, uh, what, what's the other uh, uh, La Bruna on Hell La Bruna uh, videos that I've done in, in in the past, and and hopefully you'll see some new ones as well. Um, you know, all these cards, all these Argentine cards are really hard to find. Uh, but if you really put in, if you do the grind and you put in the work, you'll find some amazing artifacts here. And, and hopefully I'll inspire you in the course of this video to go out and get some. One of my favorites is this 1945 um, Bicicleta die cut card. Um, you know, he started playing with River Plate in, in 42. But, you know, this 1945 Bicicleta is just top-notch. I have a couple others. You, you may have seen the Jam Moreno one. Um, so, you know, I, I don't think I have, like, a Juan Carlos Munoz or or any of the other uh, La Machina guys. But um, these are just super cool. Super, super cool. Um, so this is one that I did have, I think, uh, a La Bruna card as well. So here's a La Stau from from a Gran Capitan, which again has um, has a back a printed back, whereas most most don't. So this is another really really cool card. And then you know some of my most favorite, which you probably saw in the Jam Moreno video if you've seen that, are just these uh, Olympia, these 1946 Olympia. I mean these are just these triangles are just like crazy cool and um you know some of them actually have cropped you'll see people will cut these sides for whatever reason this in the custom cut sgc holder again wow i wish i would have spent you know sent all my cards to get graded by sgc when they were doing that now they just kind of throw them in and let them ride a la psa so it's a, a bit of a bummer but to see see something like this is just great and again you don't care that it's a that it's a 10 right there's probably some paper loss on the back i don't see any it's just a beautiful piece of art really um probably one of the more you know famous at least for me uh you know cards is the revancha cards uh, and it's and it's famous because you know it, it's one of the first showings of di stefano um if when you get kind of past the monte Cudine, uh discs you, you know, you, your next available cards are these, um, are these Revancha cards. And remember, um, De Stefano comes up and he's actually, you know, behind Jam Moreno uh, on the death chart. He ultimately, you know, he's on River Plate. He ultimately goes to me and Arios, um, and we'll talk about that with when we talk about Adolfo Pedernera, um, in Colombia. And, you know, he, he leaves Argentina, you know, effectively. But uh, he's got a card just like um, Lestau does. And I think La Bruna has one uh, as well. The whole team of uh, River Plate has these. It's just I don't have them and haven't seen many, uh, many copies of any of these. So, you know, it's just nice to have a really nice Revancha, which comes out of a magazine, a la the record. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, super cool backs on these. Pretty rare in Argent Argentina to have these backs that have a write-up really really cool and you you may recall you've seen these around 
um, in, in some of my videos. Here's his uh, Figueritas Titan 4950. Again, there's a bunch of similar issues, which you'll see here in a second. This is the Titan with the blank back, with the, you know, kind of washed out. But when you see him in person, much, much better. I, I don't know exactly what's going on here with the lighting, but you can't fully appreciate how cool these little cards are. And these are cardboard, as are most of the um argentine issues as opposed to like brazil where most of them are paper thin here's a, a gran película you'll notice it uses the same photo that we just looked at from the titan um and and i, I like it it says you know gran película means you know the the big picture and it has you know kind of like these these um little white things which are very similar to the 35 millimeter film that you would you know run through so it just adds another uh, an element of nostalgia for you know the particular time when you know movies were a big deal and lestal was a big deal um you can see a little bit on the on the back here but you know there's some damage as well uh, and this one you know you can look at this and say man that card's so damaged but oh, what a beauty look at that green it just pops off this is figuritas cola you may remember my jam um, Moreno video. I have a, a yellow one. These just got to be some of my favorite cards. It's it's bigger than the than the rest of the discs, you know. So it's a deviation from the Argentine, you know, um, I guess status quo at the time. It's bigger, but it's it just it feels m meaty. If that makes any sense, the cardboard's like thick. Um, it just is it's super special. The extra size, extra detail on the facial uh, expressions. Ugh, I just love these figuritas cola. M maybe, you know, my, one of my top five, you know, Argentine issues. Again, bank, blank backs or damaged backs, but, you know, just so, so special. Um, you've seen these, and so you, now you might say, wow, these look, you know, pretty common. I mean, on a relative basis, these Lolly and Tunos. Uh, are really really hard when you compare to basically anything else in the world but you know as far as when you're comparing to the other argentine issues you can find these a little bit you know easier than some of the other issues still totally worth picking up a lot of these will have really fuzzy double print um on the face so it'll be like foggy or out of focus i try to stay away from those and i'm not i'm not scared of taking you know, ones that have back damage or, or anything because, you know, they're blank backs. Again, something that we keep saying time and time again. You then can go over to, uh, you know, the Palooza, which I think I had mentioned on my, um, I think, La Bruna uh, video where it has, you know, the river plate, you know, um, a school, a shield in their colors. And it has, you know, just beautiful typesetting. You know, great clarity in the photo. You know, you, 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 just, you just can't go wrong with this stuff. And, you know, when you find it, you know, if this was a, a, a 1990 sticker and it had like that, you'd be like, ah, I don't really want that one. But I tell you, get these stickers and you will you will just fall in love and you'll forget about back damage. You'll forget about all that stuff because it just doesn't matter. It's, it's these, these artifacts are so, so special. Here's another Figueritas Bicicleta. This is also where you can start to see, you know, some of the the errors that they had when they were chopping the pogs. You know, the, the equipment gets slightly off center. So you'll see many of, of these pogs that are completely chomped in the wrong way. Um, and so here, maybe you can see it, this black around the edge. That's really not supposed to be there. They should have, they should have uh, chomped it, you know, or, or cut it, you know, a little bit closer here. But, you know... Still, absolutely crystal clear in terms of, you know, the, the photography, the typesetting. No idea why that's a two. But, you know, again, I'm not going to send my day questioning um, uh, SGC grades because I mostly just love to have these encapsulated in these custom holders where, you know, they, they don't move and you can just appreciate the art of these cards. I mean, they're 70 years old in a country that went through so much turmoil so many times. Um, these things have not been valuable at all. So, you know, most of them are trashed and just to find them is, is super, super special. It was a small country anyway, when these things were issued, but you know, it's one of those countries outside of, you know, Brazil, 
I mean, you, you got it when you think about, you know, world soccer. Yeah, you've got the European, you know, superstars, um, you know, countries, you know, France, Germany, Italy. Um, I guess we'll throw England in there uh, for the UK fans. But, you know, South America, it's all about, you know, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay. Yeah, there's some other great teams, you know, Chile or, or others from time to time. But, you know, this, the history there, and these guys never got to really show their full capabilities at, the global level. So I love collecting them. Again, I had mentioned in another, you know, video the importance of them, you know, working like a machine, finding space, moving forward as a as a complete team similar to uh, the Clockwork Orange, um, you know, Cruyff's Clockwork Orange and made it to the 74 World Cup final. Just totally changing the game and and um, and just, you know, reigning with with utter dominance. So this particular one was a uh, a fifty six Figurita Sport. I'm, I don't think we've shown that one before. And again, as I had mentioned before, when you start to get to the late fifties, they become slightly easier. But that's all, you know. All of these things, I've seen a handful of all of these cards over time. You know, probably not more than ten of any single card. So, um, you know, if you find them, if you're interested in a player, I say go get them. Here's a grand cock a crack. Uh, love just kind of the coloring on it. Again, the, the they make it look it's the circle, but because they they have some of this um these edges inside on the green, it's it's certainly it feels hexagonal. I I guarantee you that it is a circle as you can see on the back. But it's some of these things that they do. They were you know pogs were how they um how they they collected. And, and they were always trying new things, whether that's the bigger size uh, figuritas cola or whether it's just some typesetting to try to change the feel of the, um, of the card. So um, anyway, I think that, that'll kind of close it out for Felix Lestau. Uh, again, epic winger, probably the best left winger in the history of, um, of Argentine football. Key member of one of the most prolific teams to ever uh, have existed and it's super hard to find his epic cardboard so hope you've enjoyed checking this out hope you'll smash that like button and subscribe and keep me motivated to keep doing these and showing you guys some of the stuff that's out there and uh, good luck collecting thanks so much